What is up you guys? It's James from James Jeff House and today we're going to be looking at some new ice pods, some hatchling geckos, and just some other updates in the reptile room. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so here's where I've been keeping my ice pods in this rack. I bought it for the baby crested geckos, but I think it just works so much better for the isopods. I'm just going to slowly move them up. And they're all labeled, and this one's also dwarf white, so I just kind of... I figured why not do two colonies? Well, I got a bunch of them. But real quick, before we look at my new guys, look at all these white duckies. So these are four of my original six adults chilling right there, which is awesome to see them all still alive. Here, let me pull this out. And then, oh, look, there's a baby right there. Little tiny baby boy. So I'm real excited about babies. Um, I'm definitely going to, you know, wait and grow them up a little bit and see how they do and see if... Uh, any more happen to come out. I believe they're called Mankai or what the babies are called um, And you know, hopefully I can start my colony up a little bit uh, Get a couple more going and eventually sell some and hopefully just Do amazing. Hopefully people actually want to buy them because they're so expensive uh, In here are my newest ice pods from Spain They definitely like it dry uh, I actually was sent 15 and I ordered 10. These are Percelio Hasei High Yellows. Uh, they get real big and you can actually tell male from female, so I'm pretty excited about that. Can't wait for babies from these. Uh, they're nothing too exciting. They're just, you know, I like them and I think they look cool. Alright, so over here at the Leopards, um, obviously I sold like four geckos last week, so these are all empty um, except for these last two. I had six of these bigger ones. I'm going to wait uh, to move up anything else. Um, I also have an empty one in the male rack and an empty tub in the female rack. So I'm not sure if I'm going to move them up, if I'm going to wait or what. But uh, I also have four more of these bigger tubs down here, the I-160s I need to wash. Um, a couple of these at the top are actually going out next week too. There's some uh, snows. That might be Max Snows or Gem Snows. It's uh, impossible to tell, and I say that in the description. Um, there's the first Black Knight that hatched. He's doing all right. A little Super Snows, a little smaller than I'd like, but it is what it is. Super Snows sometimes aren't the best eaters. And then the Black Knight Snow is awesome. He's super dark. He definitely needs to be moved up and cleaned. Uh, but he's super dark, which I love, and he's just perfect. No tail kink, no nothing, or she actually. So this one will definitely be a future breeder for me. And then lots of other just snows and super snows. And then we have this Black Knight who hatched out recently. Who's just got a really bad tail kink. So this is a super snow Black Knight outcross. Double het blizzard eclipse. And uh, it's got some pretty white arms which almost makes me think eclipse is in there. But it's not It's not on the head and I just, it's probably not. It just kind of looks like it. Uh, but it's got a pretty bad tail kink so I'll probably end up selling this one uh, as a pet only. Uh, maybe I'll take it to a show, but it'll go for a lot less than anything else. Uh, probably more like four or five hundred bucks. Uh, two more. What are these? Tug snows? Yeah, I stopped labeling because I ran out of time. Um, and then right here we have a Black Knight Outcross Eclipse. So this was my snow. This was Apex, who is now confirmed to be a snow Black Knight Eclipse uh, to an Eclipse. So we have a. Black Knight Outcross Eclipse. It might be a snow. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but this is a project with me and my buddy Trent. And we'll split the babies. But this was the first one to hatch out. And he's looking awesome. And then we have another Super Snow Black Knight. And another Super Snow Black Knight. So we're definitely hitting good odds on here. Uh, which means my Blizzard was a Super Snow. Uh, which I kind of suspected she was. But you couldn't really confirm it. But I bred her and I proved it out. So Apex is a snow. She's a Super Snow. And 50% of the babies should be super snows, but I think six or five, five out of six have been super snows or something like that. So, and then that's where that leaves off. Other than that, Crested Geckos are doing good. Johan the Frog is doing good. The blue, the blue beauties are doing awesome. This guy right here is just aggressive as all heck whenever he eats and whenever I try to handle him. Uh... Smug Bug, that's who I ordered the Priscilio Hasi eyes from. Awesome uh, customer service, that lady. I don't I don't know her actual name. Well, there you go, Laura. Uh, awesome lady, would recommend buying more ice pods from her. Moving over to the Crested Geckos. 
Well, let's go to the gargoyle geckos first. Um, I did add the new female in. I haven't seen too much activity out of them, but I'm kind of thinking uh, she'll be gravid. So hopefully in two or three weeks, we'll see some eggs from her. And, you know, whether they're infertile or not because of the first drop, um, you know, at least that'll get us on the right path of where we need to go. Uh, down here, these guys, Stripe Boy, who will eventually be in that tank as a breeder. There's a tiger in there who's just going to be sold. And then my Lily White. They're all getting really big and doing awesome. I need to clean all the glasses. Um, this tank's doing awesome. They're producing. Again, when Stripe Boy, if it ends up being a girl, when she's big enough, she'll go in here and replace one of these two because they're just kind of buckskin normals. But I kind of want this to be a pinstripe tank, and this up here will be Dalmatian. And on top of that, this girl, uh, Paradise, and also Scallop, who has lots of Dalmatian spots, are both uh, laying eggs now. I've got at least a clutch from each of them. So hopefully... Uh, in the near future, we'll have some awesome Dalmatian babies. Uh, the male's got some Dalmatian spots too, so you know, hopefully we'll get some Super Dows in there. And just like uh, these with the pinstripes, you know, I'll keep some back and just kind of replace them and get you know nicer pinstripes and nicer Dalmatian. So they just throw more and more Dalmatian to pinstripes and less kind of random stuff. Moving on. Uh, we have one doobie roach colony left and the hissing cockroaches along with Steve the ball python. I have plans for Steve. I'm going to get another 40 gallon and put a heat mat on it um, until eventually when I can get some custom enclosures built. To have the custom enclosures I want built and shipped, um, you'd have to get two to really save on shipping and it ends up coming out to like $1,400. So I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon, but... Nevertheless, this kind of whole rack is going to be going away eventually, and something else is going to go right here, Un undetermined. Uh, breeding's still going good. I'm still waiting on the snow radar white and yellows to lay some more eggs. I got one clutch out of them, uh, and on top of that, I changed the incubator. It's now at 86, so hopefully uh, we'll get some males. I want a male Black Knight double head blizzard eclipse to go along with all the super snow females so i mean a super snow would be cool but if i got a snow it at least give me some variety in there but then of course one in 16 one in 12 something like that is going to be the double visual super snow or a one in eight is going to be like a double visual snow so that'd be really awesome um so that's going to be a whole project next year and you know, I'll sell the tail kink one and then I might sell one more too, just to kind of help fund the whole thing and keep everything feeding. Um, down here, uh, lots of extra mealworms. Um, I no longer breed mice just because I work with a mouse breeder. Um, so I have all this extra mouse food, so I'm just kind of seeing who likes it. The mealworms seem to like it a little bit. The dubia, not so much. I'm going to try feeding some of it to the ice pods because I have like 25 pounds of it still. Um, so those are mealworms that need to be fed off. Those are some leftover super worms, but there's not much in there. These are the first batch of mealworms I got. I'm kind of just letting them turn to beetles, and I'm putting the beetles down here. Not that I think I'm going to breed mealworms for anything, because that's kind of a waste of time. Um, it's just something to do with them. You know, why not? And if they have babies, I can feed the babies off and what have you. But it's just extra, so they end up turning into food. And then over here... We have an example of why you don't let a small egg, uh, you don't throw a small egg away. This egg was huge and this egg was tiny and the tiny egg hatched and it's an awesome red gecko. I even wrote that one of them was small and uh, I don't even know who the, the parents were on that. But nevertheless, cute gecko hatched out and it'll be going to a good home in just a couple months. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Just some updates around the reptile room, kind of did a walk around. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that definitely helps out the channel. Uh, like I said, I will be getting a new camera soon, so hopefully the camera quality is better. It's kind of the it's kind of the same, maybe a little bit better, but we'll see. I got some ice pod food coming in. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, James at gmail.com if you have any questions. Make sure to check out my morph market. Tons of stuff is added. Uh, I'll be adding more crested geckos. I added a bunch of leopards. I'll be adding more crested geckos probably later this week. I, I already took pictures, just gotta weigh them. But other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.